In order to make the veneers, the wood veneers have this this very detailed finish on the end. It's a very it's a multi-step process. The finish line that they're using at, at, at our factory is 1,500 meters long. It allows them to load multiple product on at the, the various steps. We go from an initial sealer, as you're seeing here, we call this an NGR, which is a non-grain raising stain. It gives an even color throughout the whole, um, throughout all the wood, but with, without causing the grain to look more alive. But you'll notice that, if, as you see here through, you're gonna see where we have the media chest, we have nightstands, we have headboards. They put the entire group on each pallet throughout this process, which allows them, they can do approximately uh, 10 containers worth of product in, a, in an eight hour time frame. There's, as mentioned, there's many steps to this process. You can see how this is a very labor intensive application of the finishing. There's the steps from the spray on sealer, which you see right in front of you. And as we continue through this process, you'll see where they're using everything from hand applied finishes to the distressing that they put on it, to uh, re-sanding it, to sealing it, to having additional layers, glaze. Glaze is a process where they use to, that allows the, the grain to highlight, to show, it gives you that real depth, the character to this product. But you can see the many hands that are involved in this process. Every one of these people on this finish line are skilled at applying this type of finish. It's not that you, like you can just bring anybody off the street to do this. They have to have a talent that is developed over time. It is all using high eye and hand coordination and using color standards to ensure that from piece to piece, from production to production, the color remains consistent. If you notice down here, you'll see how they've actually made the wood darker and dirtier and muddier. But in order to do the reason we do this, this is part of the glazing process. In order to do this, the dark color gets caught in the green, as you can see down here. But what that does is, and you'll see later on as I show you more steps, it actually is what ends up bringing the, furniture, the, the wood color to life. It's what gives it character. It's because of this, it's kind of like the, uh, the calm before the storm or the rainbow after the, the storm. It's always darkest before the dawn. And this is what we're doing here. We're making the finish look dark, but this is a critical step to give us that finished product at the end. You'll notice here we had made it very dark before. The technician now is actually using a tool to take some of that finish away and gives it the high, the dark and light spots on it. This is all part of the requirement in order to, when we get to the next step and they put a sealer on it to lock it in, you'll see how it brings the whole group to life and you'll see the clarity and the depth to this. As we mentioned before, they, we, we, we made the dark. We put the glaze on it, which makes it dark. Then we use the highlighting to remove some of that. But we talked about how it makes this, this whole color start to come to life. There's still many more steps to go to get to this, but you can see how it was before when it's dark to what it is now. That's through the glaze process, through the highlighting process, and now there's a sealer on this. And you can see how it's bringing the life to this finish. You can see it, it feels like it's got a, 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 a two meter deep finish. There's a lot of clarity, a lot of clearness to this. Multiple steps involved in the finishing process require many layers of sealer to lock in the previous process. After each application of sealer, it goes through a small drying period of about two hours, but it's continuously run through the finish line. But each time it goes through a sanding process, where you can see they're taking the time to sand the sealer, the surface smooth. They do this to in, or, in order to ensure that as it goes to the next stage, you have a flat, smooth surface, which allows you to finish the product properly and, and give a, a, the character and depth to this finish. Wood is a natural product. We can't control the type of the look or the cut of the grain that's on it. Each tree is unique, and each growth ring that happens in a tree is unique. So what happens is, even with all the finishing steps that we go through, we still have a process where colors vary from one drawer to the other because of the veneer. What ends up happening is you can see the handwork involved there where they're taking what we call the dry brush, and they're taking the time to blend in the colors so that you get a consistent color, the, the proper effect or feel of the finish of what you want to do. Again, this is a very labor intensive process that requires people with skill and ability to be able to see what they need to do in order to make it blend together.
In order to ensure that we keep color consistency, you'll notice that technician has a, a wood panel. They use that color panel, that's called a color reference. He uses that as the standard to make sure that as he goes through the product that we've got the right looking color. You notice how he's taking some application in order to change the color slightly to make it more uh, similar to the color standard. But using the color standard from production to production, piece to piece, ensures consistency for the customer whether they buy a piece today or if they buy an additional piece to their collection years from now. The final step to this process is what we call the application of a top coat. We're using a nitrocellulose lacquer that has different sheen level or reflective properties. Re different reflective properties. In this case here, the, they will spray, completely spray the entire case to lock in all of the finishing steps that they've done. It also does, it also creates a protective coating that is built up on top of the sealers, which are also protective coatings. But this is the final product that gives the clear look to it, the clear finish, and you can notice how they take the time to go into all the, the, all the little uh, indent areas and then they have to evenly spray the product throughout. You have to get over the proper overlap from one left to right motion you, over the top two. If you get too much lacquer, it will end up, uh, you'll end up getting, if you get too much lacquer spray, you end up getting a run in it. If you don't get enough lacquer in it, it ends up looking dry and hungry. So again, this is another critical point, and they usually have the best qualified technicians at this level because this is the most critical level.